Hi guys, welcome to Mailbox Monday, Stacking the Shelves, and Showcase Sunday for January, it's going to be like 19th, 20th, all those things. Um, I got a few books this week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with review ones. Two of the review ones, actually all three of the review ones, were ebooks, so I don't have them here to show you, but I will talk about them. Um, the first ebook I got for review through NetGalley is Grimm. Um, and this is by various authors. It's basically a collection of young adult fairy tale retellings. Um, this is a great, I actually love the cover. It's like a black and purple cover with like a tree with like skulls on and stuff. Um, anyways, this works out really nice for me to review because I'm doing this fairy tale retellings challenge this year. And so that'll merge in really well with that. Um, in keeping with that theme, the second book I got to review, and hold on, I'm just going to look at my computer real quick here, is a book called Stiltskin by Andrew Buckley. Um, this is a retelling of Repel Stiltskin set in modern times, and it's supposed to be very, very funny. Um, so I got that as an ebook to review through NetGalley as well. And then the last book that I got to review through NetGalley, I'm really excited about, and that one is The Shadow Throne by Jennifer A. Nielsen. And this is the final book in the um the series the ascendance i think it's called the ascendance trilogy so that's the one that had the runaway king as the second book in that and then this is going to be the final book in that series the shadow throne um i really love that series it's a great series it's m kind of middle grade young adult fantasy and i'm very excited to read it Oh, I did get one more for review, and I was excited about this, too. Um, the last one I got for review is Cress by Marissa Meyer, and pretty much everybody has heard of this, right? Um, I love the first two books in this series, Cinder and Scarlet. I guess we're, I'm really on, like, a fairy tale retelling theme this week, because this, again, is kind of very loosely inspired by uh, the fairy tale of Rap Rapunzel. And it's too bad that they don't have the picture on the cover here, but... If you've seen this online, it's basically got golden hair with like a, a ribbon through it, and it's crest. So Cinder, of course, was kind of a retelling of Cinderella. Scarlet was kind of a retelling of Red Riding Hood. And Cress is going to be a retelling of um, Rapunzel. It says, Rapunzel's tower is a satellite. She can't let down her hair or her guard. All of these are it's they're science fiction and adult novels. They have a little bit of a steampunk theme to them, and the whole series they've kind of been fighting takeover from the Martians, basically the people who live on Mars. All right, that's enough about that. So then I did swap two books this week as well. Um, I was kind of going back and looking at like urban fantasies or paranormal romance that I haven't read, that I really wanted to read, that for some reason I just kind of missed. Um, I haven't been reading a lot of urban fantasy and paranormal, and I'm kind of starting to miss it. I go through cycles where I, I read a ton of urban fantasy, and then lately I've been reading a lot more fantasy and young adult stuff, and so I'd like to be reading some more urban fan adult urban fantasy. Um, so I did get two books in series that are supposed to be very good that I have not read yet. Um, the first one is Tempting Danger by... Aline Wilkes, and this is the first book in the world of the Lupi, Lupi series. Uh, there's a lot of books in this series. I did not realize there's like nine books in the series or something like that. But I've heard a lot of really good things, um, not necessarily about the first books in the series, but as they continue, people really seem to be involved in the series and really liking them. Um, so I'm excited to read this. I really have a lot to read, but I was like, oh, I want some more of a fantasy. Um, the second one I got is Wages of Sin by Jenna McLean, and this is a Sin Craven novel. Um, I have read a couple short stories that feature Sin Craven, Dulcina Craven, um, and I really like them. Um, she's a witch, the urban fantasy. Um, I believe they have a little bit of romance in them as well, and I've heard great things about them. I've actually been wanting to read the series for a long time. I was looking, it looks like there's only three books in it, and the last book was released in 2009, so I'm not sure what's up with that, if that third book was the end of the series, or if she's just taking a long time to write the next one. Um, if you guys know anything about the Sin Craven series, and, and if there's going to be more books in it past the last one, um, let me know. Leave a comment below. Okay, so then I have two more books to talk about, and the first one, these are both from the library. The first one is Cheese Sweet Home, and I actually saw a review for this on Nicola Mansfield's It's All Comic to Me blog, and I love these cute little, these cute little cats. We're big fan cats. 
in our house. And so this one looks very cute. It's about a kitten that comes into a house. Anyways, uh, originally these were apparently released in a Japanese man, men's magazine as installments. And so it is about a little cute kitten, but they're adult. Um, kind of a cross between a man manga and a graphic novel. So you do read it from front to back instead of back to front, but uh, at least I think you do. Yeah, you do. So anyways, I'm looking forward to reading that. The other one I got from the library is I had not realized that they, Doug Tenapple had released some more graphic novels. Um, I believe this is his most recent one, Cardboard by Doug Tenapple. And he also wrote Sidekicks, I believe, which I really, really enjoyed. So nice full color drawings. Um, I'm excited to read this. I think it'll be a fun read. And I do like the graphic novels just because they provide very nice story and very nice imagery. Um, but they don't take me, you know, three or four hours to read. And I'm checking my list on my computer real quick. It looks like that is it. So that was seven books that I got this week. And that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys got some great books this week and that you are having a good time. And you're enjoying your weather and everything. We are <laughs> difficult for Minnesota. It got warmer, but then when it gets warmer here, it has to snow. So we got a whole bunch of snow. And then it stopped snowing, and then it got really cold. And now it's supposed to warm up over the weekend. It's going to snow all weekend. So um, our, our state here is determined to drive home the fact that it is winter. And I think we're all very aware of that here in Minnesota. And so hopefully, I'm looking forward to spring. We only got maybe a couple more months, and then the snow will melt, and we can all be outside again. So that's good. Although I'm going snow tubing this weekend, so that's something you can do outside in the winter, and it's supposed to be pretty nice out, so that should be fun. All right, I'll stop babbling. Um, I hope you guys all great, got great books, and I will talk to you later. Bye.